and Sunrise. We're all limbered up from uh, the last half hour with that back segment. And we have a great show for you in the second half hour as well. Frank Sherardo has this amazing uh, investigative series that he's doing with Pasadena Star News and the LA News Group looking at unsolved homicides in LA County. Yes. Um, so we're going to talk to Frank a little bit later about that. We're also going to talk about the tacos. That's all. It's just in my Keep talking brain. tacos. Yeah. Taco, taco, yeah, yeah. taco. <laughs> with Del Fresco. <laughs> um, so we're going to go right into the morning buzz uh, with Frank Sherardo. Uh, editor of the Pasadena Star News, and he's going to join us a little bit later to talk about that investigative series uh, on unsolved homicides in LA County. But first, ISIS. Uh, they released a manifesto with a brilliant idea that girls as young as nine years old can get married. It's shocking. It, I, well, it's really you know amazing to read it, and of course, it's it's cultural and stuff that we don't understand. And, and I, I think uh, as you dig deeper into it, you just think, that, you know, this is frightening. This is, uh, this is their plan for uh, young women, apparently. And uh, the idea that uh, young women should get married at nine, little girls, that's, that's ridiculous. It's disgusting. It's, it's absolutely disgusting. It's certainly not something really that, that would be acceptable in our country or in our culture. Even. Well, and I think, you know, um, the group who, who uh, translated this manifesto and released it, they wanted it to be out there because a lot of times when Western journalists cover uh, Middle Eastern women, you know, obviously the ones who they might have access to talk to are probably the stronger ones who are out and about more. But this really shows the vision of ISIS. They're not looking for women to be out and about. They want them to have sedentary lives, to make lots of babies. Housewives and mothers, yes. Create absolutely. their army. But it was a very formal document, too, which was very interesting. A manifesto, was, right? Yeah, yeah, it was. And the idea that women, I mean, the sedentary, the word that you used is, is key throughout this, you know. Um, and there's only certain professions that the, they'll find acceptable, uh, and they were you know, professions in which you would study the religion. And it says in there, in the document, that uh, you, know, you can do these things, but if we say, hey, there's a holy war or a fatwa or something like that, you you're know. out of that, yeah. and, right, and you take care of your family and you do the things that we ask you to do. It's a very stark uh, document, and, and it contrasts highly with what, you know, I guess our our society certainly yeah, expects. Really sad to be entrenched in that type of culture, I think, where these young women are going to be stuck. Oh, yeah, because well, it yeah, makes me think just... of that woman who, uh, the little girl who was on that National Geographic Afghan uh, cover, the, you know, the right. prized one, and they hunted, you know, found her uh, years later. And she's, you know, just no one could talk to her because, you know, uh, the men aren't supposed to be able to talk to her when she's uh, in her home. So. But you could just see all the struggle on her face, you know, like she just looks so much older. And here, you know, you have that cover where she looks, you know, young and beautiful. And the amount they age just being shut out from the world. Well, we won't see their faces because they're all covered, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, our next segment, the NBC Nightly News anchor Brian Williams is being ridiculed for telling a story that the helicopter he was in came under fire when he was embedded with the troops in Iraq. He recently apologized, but do you think he's going to be able to regain his trust? Because you know he really embedded himself in here, like in <laughs> yeah, their story. He embedded <laughs> himself into a bunch of jokes now too, and oh, a bunch yeah. of memes on the internet. It, the the I you know it's so sad. His, his apology is ridiculous. The 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 false memory thing is ridiculous. And you know what I find fascinating is that this guy's done a lot of cool stuff. He has. Why do you need to insert yourself into this this helicopter and? and create some sort of drama surrounding your persona when you, you, there's plenty of stuff that he's done that, you know, that goes well beyond that and that we'd all be envious of, right? You don't think this is an honest mistake? Because honestly, like, when he first started telling the story, it, there was truth to it. He didn't say that he was on the helicopter, but as the years have progressed, 12 years later, he slowly, it got more and more involved and, you know, he's ducking and weaving the fire. Uh, I don't know. I think he's going to have to go back on Saturday Night Live and explain <laughs> And this. explain it on Saturday Night Live. <laughs> well, you know, they, their weekend uh, update is looking for a host, so yeah. maybe that might have to be the next line. I don't know how you can misremember being no. on a helicopter that was yeah. shot down. I mean, it, honest mistake or not, I can see that element in there, but how do you, really? One helicopter gets shot down, you're yeah. on another one yeah. that doesn't get shot down, but you're recalling it as if you were. 
It seems it seems ludicrous to yeah. me. You not don't think April there's Fool's some PTSD? Day and, right, yeah, not April Fool's Day. So yeah, it was yeah, a good not way. April Fool's yeah. Day. Well, you know, I, I don't know about him as a journalist, but as a, he's got great comic timing, so maybe SNL is the place for him. Right, right. right. Yeah, maybe that's his next career. <laughs> Um, well, coming back a little bit more locally, a string of recent shootings in Pasadena have left many scared, afraid to walk outside or use the neighborhood parks where some of the violence has occurred. There was a recent report that gang activity was down in the region, yet these incidents make some residents, especially in northwest Pasadena, feel very unsure of, of what's happening. And, I mean, what do you make of this, like the, the, you know, they keep telling us that gang activity is down, but then we see this uptick. Well, you know, I, crime is up, and in Pasadena, it's up. it's not significant, but it's it's gone up from 2013 to 2014, and then even early January of this year, there's a lot more violent crime. Not a lot, but it's up, and uh, you know, the police will blame the fact that there's early release and realignment and all that. But I don't know, you know, it's one of those things. It's hard to get your hands on. Pasadena has a history of you know rival gangs, and sometimes Absolutely. when you get mixes of people who mm -hmm. are out of jail or out of prison at the same time and uh, you know old rivalries flare up things happen you know you the the one thing I think we're passing has been fortunate is that there hasn't been a lot more death behind this. Right. Well, Monrovia this, had something similar a few years ago where right. it seemed like there were a couple of rival gangs and there were some innocent young children who were who were killed. And in and that, that I mean and, and that it was frightening for that community also. Absolutely it was. The death of Samantha Salas, I mean mm -hmm. an innocent 16-year-old, you know, shot uh, out on the sidewalk out in front of her father's apartment after going to a dairy to buy some pop. You know, yeah. uh, that's the thing that Pasadena doesn't want to have happen. Uh, the, you know, and the, the chief and the mayor and some of the city councilmen have gone out at various community meetings and, and talked about some of this stuff. And there's no solution, right? But hopefully we can get to the bottom of the relationships and figure out how they s decipher what's really happening. And, and I think there are solutions because obviously crime goes up and down. So, right. you know, there are things that, that can happen. Now let's just see if... You know, with these new mayoral candidates, you know, whoever takes over that role uh, can really bring some alignment into all the different factors going into it. Frank, we're going to have you back w with more, and you're going to tell us about that investigative series. Great. Um, I'm looking forward your, to it. In when Great. we come back. Thank you. That's good. We'll talk to him about his series and getting away with murder next. Cool. Mm -hmm.